Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to have a look at summary of the Scrum framework. As shown in figure, first, there is product backlog. Product backlog is created by the product owner in coordination with the stakeholders and the development team members. Product backlog is continuously evolving during the process. Now, when there is a product backlog, the Scrum team, including Scrum Master, Product Owner and the Development team gathers together in the Sprint Planning meeting. At the end of Sprint Planning meeting, the team decides on the Sprint, which can be for 2-4 to four weeks. And during the Sprint, what exact work is to be done is understood from the Product Backlog. As a result, there is Sprint Backlog which is created and kept on display for the scrum team member. Once the sprint backlog is created and the sprint has started, there is daily scrum meeting. Daily scrum meeting happens every 24 hours at the same place and at the same time. In daily scrum meeting, there will be the use of sprint burn down chart to understand the progress and forecast what all things will be done or will there be any hurdle completing the work, if any. When the sprint is over, team produces, the scrum team produces what is known as potentially shippable product increment. Now, all these words have a significance. What is that? Potentially shippable. That means the scrum team has created a work that is ready to go. No any other improvement or review is required on that particular part of work, part of product. So when we say potentially shippable, that means it can be delivered to customer at that moment only. Potentially shippable product increment is that part of the product which is just ready at the end of two to four weeks of sprint. Now this product increment is showcased in sprint review meeting. In sprint review meeting, there will be scrum team members and the stakeholders as well. Lastly, when the sprint review meeting is done, there is time for sprint retrospective, where scrum team members will talk about what went well or what can be improved and again what went wrong, which is the critical part. In this way, the whole scrum process repeats until we get a finalized product or we get another feedback from the customer or from the people who are using this product. In this way, as they said, use this process, rinse and repeat. That is all from the Scrum Summary. Thank you so much for watching.